Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and in this video I'm going to be recommending some really fantastic films and TV shows that I have watched recently. So the first film that I want to recommend is a French film called Cessan et moi. It essentially means Cessan et me and it's about the friendship between Emile Sola who was a writer during the very incredible period of the Impressionist era in Paris and Paul Sasson, who was a painter. They were friends since they were children. They came from the same friends province and they really had their lives connected and interwined from the moment that they became friends all the way to the end of their lives. Emile Sola was a very important writer and he was considered to be kind of shocking during the Impressionist period. He wrote a book called Nana which is pretty much his most famous work. It's about a prostitute and the different men that she meets and the different men that she has relationships with and how those relationships really end up ruining their lives and her life. And Paul Sasson is mostly known today as the father really of Cubism. He did not manage to get the fame that he wanted in his life but he has now acquired that fame because he really was a fantastic painter and somebody that looks at landscape, that looks at bodies in such a different unique way and his perspective led to the fantastic Cubist artists that we know today such as Pablo Picasso. This is a film about art. It is very much a French film in the sense that there's a lot of eating, there's a lot of walking, there's a lot of talking, but it is fantastic and it's brilliant and I think that you don't even have to be somebody that loves and that is passionate about art history and about writing to enjoy it because it really is about friendship and what it feels like to be human. Paul Sasson and Emile Sola had a very tumultuous relationship towards the end of their lives because Emile Sola wrote a book that Paul Sasson was not happy about and this is really the conflict in the film. There's just some fantastic scenes about the struggle of being an artist, the struggle of being creative and how it is a universal struggle that all artists feel and it's not really an individual personal thing that is just shared by all of them and that that's what comes with being somebody whose passion it is to bring new ideas into the world. I think that the actors were fantastic and it just it's a great mixture of a great interesting thought-provoking movie with also a great amount of historical facts about impressionism and about the art world during this era. Another film that I absolutely adored and watched recently was His Girl Friday. This is a 1940s film and it is a comedy. It's sort of considered a screwball comedy and it's just fantastic. It follows a young woman by the name of Hildy. She is a journalist but she has decided to let that part of her life go because she wants to get married. She was married to her boss and he didn't really put her first so she decided to divorce him and go on in this new life and during the course of this one day she realizes that the life that she wants and the, the life that she desperately craves is the life of a journalist. It is a hilarious movie and if you are somebody that really enjoys this like Gilmore Girls type of really fast dialogue and really witty fast paced scenes it's just you're gonna love this because it is such a treat and such a delight and it is a classic film and it is in black and white but it stands the test of time. Another film that I watched recently that is also a classic is Rebecca by Alfred Hitchcock. This is a adaptation of the book by Daphne du Maurier, Rebecca. Now I read that book two years ago and I didn't completely love it. I thought that it was wonderfully written. I thought that it was just fantastically atmospheric but I absolutely hated the main character and I could see where the story was going. However, I think that Alfred Hitchcock in this adaptation does such a fantastic job 
at bringing the tension and bringing the feeling of the book to the screen. I also absolutely loved the main actress who plays the unnamed narrator and unnamed heroine in the story. I think that, that if you are a fan of Rebecca and of Daphne du Maurier's work, then you should definitely, definitely check out the Hitchcock adaptation because it's really, really fantastic. And two television shows that I watch, well not really television shows, Netflix shows that I have watched recently that I have really enjoyed is one, The Keepers. This follows a real case that happened I believe in the 1960s. It follows this case about a nun, Sister Kathy, who was found murdered and nobody knows why she was killed. It talks about corruption in the Catholic Church, it talks about the abuse of children and it's a very difficult documentary series to watch. However, it's such an important series and it's fantastic. Netflix really does an outstanding job with the documentary series, I believe, and this is no exception. The Keepers will make you so frustrated and so angry that these things happen in real life. And it's really sad that Sister Kathy's murder is left unsolved, that nobody knows what really happened to her because she seemed like such a beautiful person. Another really fantastic Netflix show is The Confession Tapes. This is a fairly new one. I think it came out maybe like a month or two ago. It is all about the corruption and the legal system in the United States and how law enforcement may manipulate people in order to give false confessions. So these are just some of the fantastic films and shows that I have seen recently. I hope that you check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a lovely day. Bye!